Hi. Uh, Pink, hello. Hi. Hey, we're so excited you're coming back to our country. We love you more than anyone else in the world. When yeah, are we right. going to see you? <laughs> we do. We do. You I say mean, that to all the girls. No, that is not. It's a year away. It's too far. I want to come now. So what, so what do we do? What are we meant to do in that year? We just sit on our hands and wait. I'm sure there's lots of exciting people coming before then. No, we don't care. We're just waiting for you. <laughs> you, you... Well, I'm excited. Carrie's excited, which that never happens. He loves New Zealand. <laughs> You're not meant to say to me, he's excited, and then say the name of another country. Oh, where are you? I'm in Australia. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just talking to someone from New Zealand. Yeah, you know what? Well, he, he, he could live in Australia. Also. I could live. I actually thought about moving to Australia a couple of years ago. And then what, what happened? Just a little old global pandemic? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I don't know if you felt your ears burning, but you have been the cause of a lot of arguments at our radio station. And I think we need to clear it up. Um, I will start, I will, I will talk about your, your new single trustful, but I want to ask you about, um, never gonna not dance again, because we need to know the difference between never going to not dance again and I want to dance again. <laughs> oh, there's a huge difference. Talk to us. I want to dance again is like, yeah, all right, whatever. I'm never going to not dance again is a whole different energy. It's like, get out of my way, cut the bullshit, stop yapping and turn on the music and please turn it to 11. Okay. I'm annoyed because I'm on the wrong side of the argument and I thought they were the same things. So I am very sorry and I'm <laughs> going to delete that bit of audio and pretend it never happened. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe delete the New Zealand thing too. <laughs> <laughs> no, can we just have you say the word Australia isolated here and we'll just dub it over? <laughs> Australia. Perfect. That'll sound incredible. It's, it's, it's foolproof. <laughs> China. <laughs> um, hey, your shows, uh, I've seen you so many times before. They're, they're spectacularly um, physical as well as, I mean, you're an incredible performer, but also you just do amazing aerobatics and stuff. As we, and I promise I don't mean this in an offensive way at all, but sure. as I got told I can't wear flip-flops the other day because I'm getting too old and they don't offer the proper arch support. As As we get older... Are you doing my hokas now? Hey, I've got to wear, I've got to, it's, I'm, yeah, I can't show you. <laughs> but <laughs> No, there's no such thing as that. No, nope, I'm going to be flying when I'm 95. I'm going to be stuffing this into a leotard. It's going to be awesome. Okay. So we're still, go, we're still going skyward. Does this mean the, the, the risk of injuries increases, which is even more exciting for the crowd? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. We had our first tour meeting a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh, I get to do so many things. I'm so excited. I have to figure out things though that you can do like 150 times. That's yeah. the problem. Yes. Yeah. Evil, evil Knievel jumped the canyon once. Exactly. Yeah. I was thinking, I was talking about doing like maybe getting shot out of a cannon, but I feel like that's once. And then also a flying carpet that's controlled by drones. Yeah. How would that be? Yeah. They won't let me do it because they think it'll get hacked and I'll get taken. We also just had a show here in Perth in Western Australia and 50 of the drones failed and fell into the river and it cost them um, half a million dollars. And that would be you oh. dropping. That would be me. That would be epic way to go though. I <laughs> <laughs> That's so much cooler than falling off a ladder. This is a, this is a dark question, but I do, I do stand up comedy and I would like to die on stage, like quite literally. It, would you like to die on stage? Not now, obviously, but is that. <laughs> Sometimes after I read my Twitter feed, I fear that I might. Um, <laughs> I know I want to die while someone's telling me how awesome I am. Yeah. Like everyone's standing around just like, you're so great. I love you so much. This was my favorite thing you did for me or in my sleep. I don't want to know. There was talking about, about dying and people falling. Obviously your new single is called Trustful. Um, it is one of the funniest things that happens in the world when you see a trust fall in actual life and they don't catch them. <laughs> That's my worst nightmare. Yeah. I would never trust fall. Yeah. Not ever. <laughs> what are you? Not with these 
<laughs> Isn't your whole song encouraging that? Yeah, but not with these people. <laughs> if my children had the muscles, they would catch me for sure. I um, they would catch me. I saw a, a video of uh, your daughter that you recently posted singing her first recital. Um, it's uh, a, it, it it was she's incredible, right? And it's amazing she's song. Incredible. There is one sticking point, which she's obviously, she's not singing your song. Um, does that, does it annoy you when she sings other artists' songs? No, I love it. Are you kidding? And I love Olivia Rodrigo. Um, no, actually, when I went to pick her up at school, when she was in kindergarten, her friend came up and started singing Raise Your Glass to me. And Willow looked at her friend and goes, that's not even one of the good ones. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Willow. People liked it. <laughs> hey, I know we, we haven't got one left. I, I, um, I want to ask you a question that I hope is not too close to your heart and just don't answer it. It's not meant to be. Uh, oh, you can ask me anything. Well, I just saw your post about losing Lisa Marie Presley too, too soon. And, um, I loved what you said because it's rare that a tribute encapsulates a whole person. And you wrote, you're one of a kind, funny as shit, smart as a whip, sensitive, talented, witty, mean, loving, generous, judgmental, but always right loyal and i could go on but i'll probably start crying i didn't know you guys were close can you tell me about your friendship yeah she was one of my first friends when i moved out to california by myself um i don't even know how we met we probably met at a studio somewhere and i gather that she had a lot of bullshit around her and i wasn't that and so we became fast friends and she actually gave me the dog that's tattooed on my arm, Elvis. And I named him Elvis because I thought it was pretty ballsy to walk out at a Christmas party and hand someone a puppy the night before they're flying to their mom's house who just got new carpets. So Priscilla came up to me and said, what are you going to name it? And I was like, Elvis. <laughs> so that was dog was the love of my life. Um, yeah, she was rad. She was one of the real ones, man. And she got uh, quite a stack of cards in that in this lifetime. Yeah. But yeah, she was a she was a good one, and I loved her very much. And you know, complicated. I'm sorry for you, Oz. I feel like it's hard sometimes, particularly because we're so far away on the other side of the world that people see news of celebrity deaths, and we forget that there are real friendships and real emotional attachments and real people because they're just seen as like stars yeah. singular yeah i think as a whole human race we're forgetting that a lot yeah. right now that people are human and that everybody is has the potential to be awesome and terrible and that we're all just human um i like that i'd like to think that people don't think that about me because i'm so dumb and immature and they just know that i'm not <laughs> like that <laughs> You know, the, la the last time um, we, we actually brought listeners over to come see you. I know I've just been told to wrap up and this actually isn't a question. I was just going to say thank you. Last time we brought a bunch of listeners over to see you uh, in the States and you performed for us and you were so generous. You had yeah, your family at the, there. At the Viceroy Hotel. Yeah, and it was meant to be on it. We advertised it as a rooftop party and it was on the ground level around a pool. <laughs> but you've always... I had cool red pants on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've always been so generous and lovely with your time. Um, so like I said, I've been told to wrap up. We can't wait for the tour. Uh, we can't wait for the new album, Trust for uh, The single's great. Both the singles we've heard so far we love. Um, Pink, thanks. Th thanks for being awesome. Thanks. thanks. <laughs>